going to do a cast iron Dutch oven cooking video for you guys here today. So hope you guys enjoy. Waiting for this wood stove to warm up the tent. First burn of the day. How's your hands? Ooh. Cold? A little bit cold. Alright guys, so we have the inside temperature of the tent warmed up to a very comfortable 20 degrees Celsius. It is pretty early here in the afternoon, so we're going to do kind of a brunch style meal today. So we brought out some turkey bacon that we're going to fry on the wood stove. I brought out some eggs and some egg whites. We're going to make ourselves a real nice omelet that's going to be baked inside of the Dutch oven. And uh, prior to coming over here today, just to make things a little bit easier and make cleanup easier, we actually had cut up our vegetables. So I do have mushrooms, I have onions, some green pepper, red pepper, and then I have a pre-mixed spice container here with cumin, uh, chili pepper, uh, pepper, black pepper, uh, garlic, and a little bit of basil. So that should add some real nice flavor to it. And of course, because it's in the Dutch oven, we're going to add some Tex-Mex cheese, which is just a uh, blend of pizza mozzarella, cheddar, and uh, Monterey Jack. So that's going to add a real nice uh, cheese melt over the top of the omelet. And hopefully we can get a little bit of crisp on that as well. So that really should add to the taste. All right, so to get this omelet started, um, I brought out some eggs. Now, usually I use six eggs for this omelet, but I had seven left. So we're going to use all of the eggs here today. I just have a mixing bowl. So these eggs are actually polar eggs, which are farmed here in the Northwest Territories. So it's always good to support local business. Okay, so that's our eggs. Next, I'm gonna add some egg whites, just for the extra protein. And some extra volume. Okay, so this is a one liter egg carton, and I had about 500 ml, so about a half a carton that I had added. Next, I wanna add some almond milk, so you can either add uh, dairy milk if you prefer. Um, I prefer almond milk. So I'm gonna put, this is about uh, 250 ml. So I'm gonna add about half of that now. Now I'm just gonna stir up the omelet just to break up those yolks. Okay. Next, I'm going to add some spices here. Okay. 
That smells very nice. Kind of has a bit of a Tex-Mex smell to it with the cumin and chili powder. Going to add a few green peppers and red peppers. We're going to add some onion and some mushrooms. To give you guys a little look on the inside here, so that's the consistency of what it should look like. So when you cook them with cast iron, you always want to ensure that you have a good seasoning base to the cast iron. What that's going to ensure is that you have a non-stick surface, especially when cooking with things like eggs that can burn easily to the side of your Dutch oven. Um, and when you're using a wood stove, which is kind of unpredictable in uh, temperature control. So I am going to add a little bit of extra olive oil here today just to make sure that I do have a good barrier between the cast iron and the, and the food. So I'm just going to use my fingers here with this and just rub it in all around the side of the Dutch oven. Okay, so now we're just going to add in the omelet mix. And that should be good. Okay, so we're going to put the lid on. And walk over. Oh, carefully. Lay this right on top of the wood stove. Now I have the wood stove turned down. So I'm just going to get some heat going. Crank it open a little bit about half ways. Okay, so I'm gonna set the timer on my watch here and we'll come back and check this in about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. If you notice the inside is actually cooking a little bit faster than the outside that's because it's closer to the stove pipe so you want to make sure that you rotate this thing maybe every 10 minutes or so add some cheese here A few moments later. Total cooking time is about 23 minutes from start to finish. I'll give you guys a little peek of what the final product looks like here. So yeah, 
that it's absolutely delicious, I imagine. Let's break into this here and have a little peek. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Next. So next order of business is to cook our turkey bacon. So I just flipped over our lid here for the Dutch oven, which actually acts as a griddle. All right, so while we're waiting for those to toast, we're gonna have a little taste test here. See how this came out. So I like to have Cholula on my omelet, so I'm gonna try a little bit of that. Very, very tasty. Turkey bacon is excellent as well. I really like using a chili powder and a cumin. Like I say, it kind of has that Mexican Tex-Mex feel to it, especially when you mix it with Cholula. Very tasty. All right, guys, so this concludes today's video. We're gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy this wonderful breakfast we just made. So we really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and also share our videos. If you're not following us on Facebook, make sure you check us out at facebook.com slash upnorth60. And the link for that is also in the description box down below. As always, guys, you stay safe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.